Good day. I'm Ken Purdy. I'm up for re-election to the REC Board of Directors, and I need your help. I'm asking you to go to our District 4 REC meeting in Lone Tree in the high school parking lot, August 3rd at 7 p.m. It's a drive through meeting, so you don't need to get out of your car. Just pick up the ballot, vote it, and you'll receive a $15 bill credit and an insulated REC tote bag for attending plus uh, other attendance gifts by drawing. The meeting last year lasted 18 minutes. Watch your regular REC mail for the meeting announcement and the registration paper to take with you to the meeting. Here are some reasons why you may want to vote for me and if you want to know even more go to my website below www.kenperdy.com. I have a master's degree in mathematical statistics nine years experience as an REC director and I have taken 24 national REC classes to help me do the best job possible for you on the REC board. In this photo I am receiving the Director's Gold Award from National President Jim Matheson. Very proud of that award. I was a county supervisor for eight years and made many connections with local, state, and federal agencies. Teaching math and computer classes for 34 years and coaching wrestling and track are a part of my experiences also. One of my key attributes is my positive, upbeat nature and the ability to get along with people. That along with my ability to read and digest information and to listen to member owners enables me to make informed, logical decisions. I am a proponent of renewable energy resources in general, especially solar and hydro, but only if it is backed up by a reliable, always ready source of power. The Wapple Solar Project is a prime example with over 600 acres of solar panels. It's on ground that has low productivity for crops also. Behind me is a photo of me flying over the Wapple Solar Field and a photo I took that is being used by the State Association and several other entities. On a much smaller scale, I and my nephew John Dotson constructed my 24 panel solar field at my home in 2013. It is paid for itself and will provide power for many years to come. Lee Dotson is the grandfather of my previously mentioned nephew John Dotson that helped construct my solar array. I like to follow in Lee's footsteps. On this plaque, you can see Lee Dodson was president of the Eastern Iowa Light and Power Board in 1949, when the previous headquarters building was being used. My name is on this plaque in our new headquarters in Wilton. Lee has been my inspiration to me and I would like to follow in Lee's footsteps and be on the board long enough to become president like he was also. I'm ending with this thought. An important goal is providing you members the most reliable service possible at the least cost while keeping the cooperative financially sound. I understand the need to ensure baseload generation facilities and storage to support renewable sources. I want the co-op to be ready to take advantage of new technologies to benefit us member owners. Recall there are no shareholders in a cooperative. Co-ops by law are nonprofit, and any profits called margins are returned to us member owners in the form of patronage on your bill. I will continue to work to return as much margins as we can. I hope you'll go to the drive through district meeting at the Lone Tree High School parking lot August 3rd, 7 p.m., and cast your vote for me. Watch for your registration information in July mail from REC. I hope you enjoyed this video, which I made using green screen technology all by myself. It was fun sharing with you. Thank you for your vote in advance. I hope to see you at the meeting.